So I narrowed it down on mine, where my air leak is coming into the fuel system, somewhere between the primary and the tank. So I still have to vacuum from the tank. I vacuum and that's the best way to with a mighty vac with an air compressor. Uh, little hand, the primer pumps, you know, the brass ones. If I had one, I would use one, but I haven't found one yet. Anyway, uh, I use that for doing uh, bleeding brakes and other stuff. Uh, this is where you can hear the pump. There's the pump. Fuel tank. Intake of the secondary filter. Okay. Right here you can see bubbles coming out. That's because I didn't fill the filters up. Yep. But I'm going to uh to start. I'm going to show that too. So, uh, yeah, throttle, whoop, up about three quarters. I'll try and set my camera up again, and uh, I'm going to use the remote, the rear start. Everything's turned on up front. Uh, yeah. Fill your filters, put them back on, and then uh, the pump works really good. Because you can go over to the uh, fuel tank and you'll hear the return uh, putting fuel back into the tank. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to show that uh, on this one. Anyway, I'm going to try and set you up so you can see. Uh, make sure you take some deep breaths because it can smoke when you're first getting her going. Uh, let's do this. Let's see. Nope. I would just get this. There we go. Maybe. Make sure that your kickoff's good. Okay. Contact. screw the uh, clamp on the hose and then get her off there really quick and try and get it back in to the air. Switch it really quick. With the cap. Okay, and then I try and start it again really quickly. Make sure that uh, you uh, re-engage. 
gauge the emergency uh, stopper, it, it just won't start. It's not getting any air. Okay. Uh, hope that helps. 